What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have two stocks to share with you that are both under a dollar each. These are both very high risk and very high reward stocks. Before I get into it, if you guys are new here, welcome. I talk about stocks on this channel and I post videos every single day keeping you guys up to date with the hottest growth stocks in the market. We've been able to pick some big winner stocks lately, so if you guys enjoy information like that every single day, all I ask is please hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you guys can get updated as soon as I post a video. Also, if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to like and comment below what you think about these two companies. I want to know whether you guys are buying these companies or if you're just going to stand on the sidelines and watch for now. Because as I said, these are two extremely high risk companies, but also with a huge possibility for high reward. So yes, as you can see, one of the companies we're going to talk about today is Global Battery Metals. Both of the companies we're going to be talking about you guys recommended in the comments below and I've been researching them over the last couple days. Now this stock is one that I'm extremely excited to share about with you guys because as you guys said it could be the next American battery metals company. This company has seen huge gains today and has possibility for a lot more than that. But before we get into that I want to first talk about an even riskier penny stock which is another one that you guys left me in the comments below. I want to give you guys my opinion on this extremely risky yet extremely extremely cheap company and this is healthier choices management corp ticker symbol HCMC. Now do beware, this stock is traded on the OTC market, so you're not gonna find it on Robinhood or Webull. You're gonna have to go to a bigger brokerage like Fidelity, Vanguard, or Charles Schwab. Looking at some price action though, you guys have brought this to my attention as it has had an almost 100% increase in the last five days. So we're gonna find out why and maybe where it could go from here. Being such a small cap company at such a low price, this company could double, triple, and quadruple extremely fast. So that's why I want to give you guys my opinion on this company and what I think about it moving forward. So first, you guys can never invest in a company that you do not understand. So we're going to go over what this company is, who they are, what they do, and all of that basic information. So starting off, Healthier Choices Management Corp is a US-based publicly traded company specializing in providing consumers with healthier alternatives to everyday lifestyle choices. Now, so this company is in two different sectors and the first sector they are in is grocery stores. They have four healthy choice markets all four in the Florida area. The first one is an 18,000 square foot full service grocery store serving the Fort Myers, Florida community. And the other three are Paradise Health and Nutrition locations located in the greater Melbourne, Florida area. So basically, this company provides all natural and organic products in a friendly and helpful atmosphere. Now, they are not just a grocery store. They actually expand healthier choices even beyond just food. And with that, Healthier Choices Management Corp, through its nine owned vape stores across the Southeast United States, offers smokers an alternative to traditional cigarettes. Now, so you're thinking, okay, things sound decent. You know, it's a very small company. They only have four grocery stores. They have nine vape stores. What's all the hype? Where's this company going? And ultimately, why has it increased 100% in the last day or so? So this right here is one of the main reasons why this stock has shot up in just the last couple of days. And that's because Healthier Choices Management is suing Philip Morris International. And they're suing them over patent infringement. Now this is nothing new. The lawsuit was actually filed back in November 2020. But of course, is picking up steam due to a post on Reddit penny stocks. As we know, Reddit can control the market and has put this company on the map by it gaining almost 100% in the last couple of days. And so basically, investors are speculating and taking interest in this company as they think it could possibly win this lawsuit against Philip Morris. And if this company does win the lawsuit, they could see a big jump in their stock price. And they also have a lot of plans of what they're going to do with the money if they win. So it says the company is seeking damages from Philip Morris International. The lawsuit alleges that PM infringed on its patent 170, which has to do with their tobacco vapor product. So I'm not going to lie, guys. I see this stock going two ways. If they win this lawsuit, I can see it going up in price a whole lot. And if they lose the lawsuit, I can see it going down quite a bit. I do not see this as a long-term stock, at least with the information that I have right now. I see it more of a pump and dump waiting for this lawsuit to settle. 
I think Reddit is more or less pumping this company up right now, giving it some hype for this lawsuit. And if the lawsuit does come through successful, then this company could double, triple, quadruple again very quickly. And if they actually do good things with this money, this company could be a great long-term investment. For me, right now, I am not invested in this company, and I would advise to definitely do some deep research before investing in this company. So just watch out and be careful when investing in this company. Obviously, it's extremely cheap, so you can get a lot of shares for only a small amount of money, but nevertheless, don't invest a dollar that you are not willing to lose. But now moving on, this is a company that I'm more excited to talk about with you guys, and that is Global Battery Metals. Ticker symbol on the OTC is REZZ. So you guys left this in my comment section on the last video and you said this could be the next ABL American battery metals. So I was like with that said I definitely have to take a deep look into this company and after doing some research there is some positive stuff about this company. Nevertheless though they are pre-revenue and still extremely risky but as you can see they have shot up a lot. They're up 30% on the day, 390% on the 5 day and over 600% on the week. So this stock is getting noticed. It had a new investor presentation come out with some great information. And this stock does have possibilities to keep on growing. Getting right into it though, Global Battery Metals is a mineral exploration company with a focus on metals that make up and support the rapid evolution to battery power. Jumping over to their website here, as we know, battery metals are gonna be the future. We need metals to power EV vehicles and ultimately create create a greener society, which is what we're going to see from this next administration. So this company actually mines lithium, which of course is going to be a big part of the future because we need lithium to use in EV batteries. So what I want to do for this company is I want to jump over to their new investor presentation here and show you guys a little bit of what this company has to offer. So first, their opportunity, Global Battery Metals is focused on developing and mining on a property located in the Republic of Ireland. It says they have an ex team with a history of creating shareholder value in several successful mining companies. The board of directors and management are skilled in financing, geology, and engineering, and experienced in mining exploration, development, and production. The company also has strong relationships with leading brokerage firms, fund managers, and the investment community. The first thing I want to look at here is their capital structure. So share price of February 1st was 34 cents. It is now February 4th and that has almost tripled. One thing I want to highlight here is 43-ish million shares are outstanding. Now that is a very small compared to most mining companies. Usually mining companies have a lot more shares outstanding and that is good because now this company can grow a lot quicker. Obviously things like earnings per share are divided up a lot more as more shares are in the market. So with less shares, just for example, that earnings per share will be a lot more. Management and directors as well as institutional and long-term shareholders are also holding onto a good bit of this company. As you can see in red are institutions and long-term shareholders and in this purplish color is management directors. So retail investors hold about 40% of this company. Now I wanna mention also here that this company has $1.1 million in cash on their balance sheet with zero debt. And so they raised this cash through some shareholder offerings, but as you can see, it obviously did not dilute the shares too much. And in fact, ended up raising them a good bit of cash that can now hopefully be used to continue to grow this business. Having no debt is also very impressive and lowers the risk when thinking about investing into this company. Also, I would want to mention here that given the recent increase in price and if the stock price continues to go up, watch out because there could be another offering. And we know if that does happen, that could send the stock price down temporarily, giving you maybe even a better chance to buy in if you have this stock on your watch list. Moving forward here, I want to talk about management and directors because this this CEO has a rich history of creating some big companies. So CEO Michael Murray is a founder. So CEO Michael Murray is a founder of Torex Gold, which is a $1.4 billion company. He now still remains on the Torex Gold board and sits on the Health and Corporate Responsibility Committee. And prior to this, he spent 15 years in London in the financial services sector with companies like Merrill Lynch. So definitely a pretty decorated CEO with a past history of creating valuable companies. Anyway, so moving on here, here is their lithium project, which they currently have an option to earn up to 90% interest. The project area is covered by 15 government issued prospecting license and covers a total area of 477 square kilometers. 
kilometers. Now this gets a little interesting here. It says the project is adjacent to Ganfangs. Now Ganfang is a Chinese company that is obviously headquartered in China, but I believe it was about end of 2018, early 2019. Ganfang was actually mining for lithium in Ireland. In this site they're mining at now, is said to be adjacent from where that lithium was found. So basically what they're saying is that could lead to a high chance of lithium being there. Moving on here though, work completed. They have positive results from mapping, prospecting, and deep overburden geochemical surveys have successfully located new and previously unknown lithium pegmatite mineralization on the license block. And you can see the areas down below here with the returned value. So I just wanna stop here for a minute. Yes, this company is still in the beginning stages. It is a pre-revenue company. They have zero revenue up to this point and are pretty much still surveying the land, but they have just got approved by their government to start drilling. But ultimately that is why this company is so cheap because they are in these early stages of development. If this company was already mining and having mass profits from lithium, they would not be under a dollar a share right now. So keep that in mind. With the high risk of this company not succeeding, there also comes high reward if this company is extremely successful in the projects that they have now and the projects they will have moving on into the future. That is just the risk that you have to be willing to take when investing in companies like this. But anyways, what are the next steps? Because that's ultimately what we want to know. Where can we see this company going moving forward? So this is important here. It says a first target zone has been identified and they plan to initiate to test the first target with an initial drill program compromising three holes totaling 450 meters. So basically in the near future, we could start to see some very positive results coming from this company. So anyways, that is all that was on the investor presentation. A quick overview is yes, this company is still a very cheap stock. It is a very low market cap because it is an early stage company. This company has created zero revenue up to this point, but they do on the other hand have a decent balance sheet with $1.1 million in cash and zero debt. They currently are working on two projects, one of which can create 90% interest and the other 55. And the most important thing you have to consider is the industry. Batteries in general, EVs, they are the future. And a lot of these companies in the industry are gonna succeed. Not just one company is gonna succeed. Multiple companies in the industry will succeed as we move forward into this EV and clean energy world. Now, of course, there's a lot of downsides with this company as well. Right now, they are obviously unprofitable and losses, unfortunately, have been increasing over the last five years. There's also been a 50,000-ish share of insider sell-off just last week. In the last thing, which could be good or bad, there was a recent private offering, which raised all that cash, but did ultimately increase the amount of shares in the market. I will tell you, I think this company is a lot less of a risk than a company like Healthier Choices Management Corp. This company really doesn't have much good news going for it or any fundamental reason why it should be going up besides the fact that Wall Street Bets and a penny stock group mentioned it and they have a big lawsuit coming up that apparently people are excited for thinking they could win this lawsuit. On the other hand though, Global Battery Metals does have fundamental reasons why it should be going up. They released some great information on their new investor presentation including the cash they raised, the zero debt, and the two projects that they are in right now that could potentially be extremely successful. So all things to look out for, take that for what it's worth. I am not a financial advisor and this is definitely not financial advice. Of course, never put any money in the stock market that you are not willing to lose, especially on these extremely risky penny stocks. With that said though, that is all I have for today guys. If you are not yet subscribed, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and like and comment below whether you are investing in these companies or not. With that said, thank you guys for watching and as always, I will see you in the next one.